Oh, probably a bit of a mixed bag from your side today. What were your overall thoughts on the game? Oh, conditions heavy, very heavy. Um, City came down to play. Uh, is is gut wrenching? I I really expected to go out there at home and uh, and win this game and to be minute and 20, 20 seconds down one nil uh, through an error, goalkeeping error. But uh, you know that's something that uh, he doesn't do very often, mate. He doesn't, and it's just hard minute and twenty seconds into the game. Uh, to go one nil down and then find yourself catching up, but it was uh, it was okay because we sat back and thought, oh, well, coaching staff at the box sat back and thought, okay, we've got time now to get back into it. But then they counter attacked on those long balls and diagonal balls, and um, we just weren't prepared for those long diagonal balls, um, and they caught us on the counter. That's that's a learning experience. That's something that uh, you try and iron out in time. Um, but in saying that, we just re reconstructed ourselves in the second half and um, basically identified their weakest spots and we attacked that and we, we took the second half. Um, I, I was happy with the second half, first half. It's just something that we've just got to learn to not play half a game but a full game. Mm. Did you think that going down so early in the contest might have had an effect on the players' mindset? Yeah, absolutely. Time? Yeah, I, I, I know. Sitting, I just addressed it just then and I know I had a couple of players turn around and I said, wow, you know what it felt like after we went one nil down in a minute and fifteen. It was it felt like Clarence, and and I can understand that because I I felt that too. I've gone oh god here we go, back to the Clarence debacle again. Um, Clarence took three nil up at half time and um, minute and oh pretty three or four minutes into the game they were one nil up and we're just looking at them going oh here we go again. But there again, it's not the matter of throwing it away so early, but that's how it felt, and I think our lads actually felt that too, um, and and. Probably a lot of that's experience. I just addressed. We just uh, brought in um, a couple of young, a couple of lads called Will and Joe Davis, who came. Jack Nuttall, another one who's came in as well, and and they. Oh, how can I explain this? In the old terminology, when you played and you walked across that line, you had the pig in you, um, and that's what these lads brought, and that's something that. Yeah, just got to be able to find what pig means. It's not the matter of I can run three quarters half-hearted and put in a 60-40 tackle, you know, if you've got the pig, you've got the pig, mate, you stick it on there and you, you take the lot. And that's what those lads gave me. And that really showed to me the experience. It gives me something to work at. I've just addressed it to the lads. It's, it gives us something to work on, not to get demoralised. Um, we've got South next week. Um, we're not going to shy away from, from that lot either, by the way. Um, Clarence gave them a shake-up. But believe you me, it was a, uh, we've just fallen over a hurdle there, you know, at it, probably uh, at 60 metres into a 100 metre race. Uh, when we get to 75 metres, it'll be Clarence, and uh, I don't know, get your pen and paper out and start writing it down, because my, my main mentality is when they come down here, we're going to actually bring the pig out, place it on the table, and, and just carve them up. Um, and that, that's what the intentions are. And then we've got Rangers, so uh, Rangers have a nice trip down on the bus because we're ready to to sharpen the blade and, and go for a carve up. That's just what we're entitled to now. We want to get out of that. City's jumped over us today. It's gut wrenching. But, yeah, it's just football, you know. Sometimes you cry, sometimes you laugh, and that's the way it goes. I must say, the the refereeing was, was very good today. Stratus, he's, he's on the ball. Congratulations to him, mate. He's, he's a very good ref. Um, and you've got the, the two lines when they, they're, they're complementary. Um, so it's really nice to have those boys, especially out in these sort of conditions. Not everyone wants to come out of the fireplace and sit there and have the sleet and snow hit your legs, but they, they've done it and they refed it really well. Um, I just look forward now to uh, taking on Kenny's boys and seeing how we go on a, on a bigger field. Um, I'm going to rest some legs, by the way. I, I will rest some legs um, because I want to have preparation for Clarence. Um, and then I want to take on uh, Rangers. And then the last game of our season is Devonport. And I don't know what's going on up there, but it uh, looks like they need a mechanic because the wheels are falling off the car. Um, and hopefully it stays that way right up to the last game so we can tackle them as well. And hopefully we can reconstruct getting ourselves into a better position than where we've just fallen to. So it probably makes probably my record not look so good over the last three weeks. Um, and I'm waiting on Danny Cohen and Trent to come back and Toby to come back and, and a few other people like that to come back. But in saying that, we've got what we've got. 
and uh, they're doing a great job and there's no doubt about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to say that uh, we've got a good bunch of lads coming through that want to play football. So let's go. Buddy, I thought you played some outstanding football, especially in that first half. You must be really happy with that. Yeah, um, yeah, really, really good football. We moved it around really well. Um, got an early goal. Um, and yeah, we just actually took it to the opposition and capitalised and it was great to see. Um, we are actually sticking the ball in the back of the net and when that happens, you know, it's good. And you know, moving the ball around really well along the deck, it was uh, stylistically very easy on the eye. Yeah, I, to be honest, it was really enjoyable to play and like just, we, we talk about how good of a team we can be if we go one, two, one touch, two touch. Um, and out there today, that's exactly what we did first half. Um, second half, I think there was a, a little bit a panic saying after they, they came out and changed the formation, which was um, good tactically for Mark, you know. Um, he just threw, the, um, threw it to the wind and went for it. So, yeah, it was, it was good in the end. Uh, Noel Mees seems to be going really nicely up Yeah. It's been a while since uh, the club's had that number nine. It's been a long search for it. Do you think that you've finally got the solution there or not? I, I hope so, yeah. Um, we've worked hard with Noah, you know, like even in the off-season, doing, doing some extra stuff. And um, it, it's funny how um, all of a sudden it just clicks. Um, he's starting to read the game much better, which was his issue. Um, he's getting in the box and, he, and he's challenging and using that size. And yeah, he's banging him in the back of the net, so long may it continue. And hey, yourself, you've just inserted yourself into there and you've picked out two wins in a draw with Devonport. Uh, are you entirely the reason for this, Ben? No, no, not at all. Um, as I said before, you know, the, the guys, um, we have a lot of respect for each other and I'm just a very simple player, just sideways most of the time. and. You know, just do the, the simple stuff which can allow the boys to play. So, yeah, that was the reason behind it. And it was down to just loads of injuries and like any other player have come in and just helped win. Is it tough juggling both roles, player? Yeah, around? definitely. What's it like trying to coach from field level? Um, interesting because you still need a direction from the boys as well. Uh, and I'm not the fittest, so... Going out there, they, 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 they respect me and they, you know, I'm, I'm the teammate as well, so they shout me to get back. And it's just a communication that's just improved after the last couple of weeks. And yeah, I mean, the, the hardest thing is probably um, trying to keep your fitness up while you're coaching. Um, but at the minute, I'm not, I'm not struggling with it, so it's okay. You seem to get them behind fairly regularly, especially in the first half. Was there kind of a plan to target them in the wide areas? Um, not particularly. Um, when we turned up today, we knew they were missing a few experienced players. Um, which is always a bonus, um, and we're really dangerous down the wing. We've got quick players, got quick fullbacks, um, especially if Jazza and Nicky overlap. Um, it was very good, you know, like and especially having Noah in there, you know, such a big unit, you can't miss him really. Um, the only thing I would say in the second half is we we're probably over hitting our crosses a little bit and not timing our runs. So we'll have a look at that and, and go, move on from there. And uh, up in the sixth place now, which has you uh, in the frame for the end of season League Cup. If you play like this today, do you think you could probably uh, cause an upset or two? Um, we won't get too far ahead of ourselves. We have to beat Clarence next week, and you know if we, we win that, then it gives us sort of a, a bit of free change to run at the big boys. And you know I think a lot of the big boys have said in the past they don't like playing us, so we'll just see what happens. What do you think the biggest change has been from three weeks ago to now? You've uh, pretty much almost doubled your points down in that period. Yeah, as I said, um, mentally we're just sick of losing. You know, we know we can play amazing football. There was just little bits missing here and there, and we just sort of did a bit of soul searching. And like I said, we we did it against South Hobart in the cup, and it was like, why, why is this so frustrating? Why it can't happen every week? But that happens when you got younger players and, and players that you know haven't played under you know previous coaches, and they're getting game time. They're gonna they're gonna not get as be as consistent. But you know, we found a little bit of consistency at the right time. Cheers, mate. Sorry for making you wait. I believe I always.